Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a responsive menu who has a drop down. When we hover, this drop down will show up. It is composed of a bunch of uh, list items. Each list item has a link tag and the span. Beneath the menu, we have a simple main content. It has only an H1. I made this simple layout responsive using uh, media queries and also CSS grid. So let's get started. We create a file called index.html and another one, site.css. We generate our boilerplate here. Let's change the name to drop down and add a link to our uh, style sheet. And we also need uh, a link to front awesome. Front awesome will help us get the icon. So I'm going to look for a link. Let's paste it here. Now what we are going to do is uh, go down to the body and we're gonna start creating our HTML. Let's start by having a nav tag and I'm going to give it an ID of navbar. Inside it we're gonna have UL and we're gonna add to it a bunch of ally. The first one we have a tag and it will be a home link. The second one it will be a, a, the about link. The next one it will be our drop down. So I'm going to add to it a text and then we have the icon. To get the icon we're gonna use a font awesome class fa space fa dash caret dash down. After that we're gonna put a nested URL and let's do an ally with an a tag and uh, then we're gonna have the number of courses let's put it into a span let's copy this two more times and change the text Let's save. It looks ugly. Let's give this some style. We start off with a general reset of the margin and the padding. And let's add the box sizing with the border box. And uh, for the body, we're gonna have for uh, front of family Arial. Now let's work on the navbar. Let's add to it a background color. Let's grab the first URL and do a list. Uh, Side man. Let's add to it a display grid and add the property grid template columns. And that will align the four uh, ally of uh, the first URL in a column across all the viewport. For more information about grid CSS, look at my uh, course. I put the link down below in the description. Now let's do navbar URL ally and we're gonna set the text align to center, the color to white. If I save it, it will only affect the ones that are not a link because we have to color them separately. For the font size, we put one arm. For the font way, it will be bold. For the padding, one arm. And the position, it will be relative. The way the drop down is going to work is going to be po positioned absolute inside of the, the ally as a container. Let's style the tags inside the ally. The color it will be white the text decoration it will be none to take away the underline now let's hide the nested url by default and we're gonna target it by doing navbar ul ally ul because we are grabbing the ul that are inside the ally let's put a display none now let's add a hover effect to these let's do cursor pointer background and color white and save it let's target the a tags and add color white now what i want to is the nested ul to show up so let's do that let's grab navbar ul ally hover and we add a display block a position absolute a left zero and a width of 100 percent but you can change uh, that as you want. Let's grab this ally and set uh, its display to grid and grid template columns for fr and one fr because this list item the link will be for fr and the spam it will be only one fr. Let's add align item center. 
Now let's target the link and add the text align left and the color white. And when we hover, let's change the background color. Now for the spans, let's add the color, a background, a padding, text align center, a font size, and uh, let's round the corners. Let's save this and uh, take a look. It looks good. Let's change the color, background color of the spans when I hover and uh, so let's do background and add to it font weight of bold And now let's style the main content. We add to it text align center, a padding 0 to RM, a background, add to it a display grid, a height of uh, 100 uh, view height. Let's grab the H1 of the main content, add to it color, and we're gonna align it using the property of uh, grid uh, CSS, align self center. To make this layout responsive, let's do a media query. Let's grab navbar UI and uh, set the grid template columns to one of R. As you can see right now, the nested UL on hover, it gets over the rest of the, the content. So I wanted to push the rest of the content down. We can change that by putting the position to relative. Let's save that. I hope you will find this video useful. So to the next time and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.